Hey, this is Corey with Bateman Labs. We're going to be going over the assembly of the attachable. Then we're going to show this on an armchair, but this can be attached to all kinds of different chairs. We're going to start with these two armrests. We're going to remove those pad inserts so we can access the bolt slots. We're going to put four bolts in each armrest so we can attach these clamping bars. Now, depending on the thickness of your arms, you may have to use the medium length bolts or the long bolts. I've got thicker arms here, so I've had to use the longer bolts. We're going to get all these bolts snug but not tight. We want to be able to move this around later and make our final adjustments. Later on, we'll get these nice and tight so they don't move around while we're using them. Once you've got all four clamping bars attached, we can move on and attach the resting cam. This gives the desktop something to rest on. We'll attach it using one of our short bolts, and we're going to get this pretty tight because we don't want it to rotate once we've got it in place. So the attachable is reversible, so you can put the desktop on the left-hand side or on the right-hand side. Today, we're gonna to be putting it on the left-hand side. So we're gonna take that tilting attachment and we're gonna attach it to the desktop rest using our second short bolt. Now this one can be nice and tight as it's not going anywhere. Now the desk should arrive with both bolt covers attached, but whichever side you're using, you can just take the Allen wrench and you can pop out the bolt cover just like that. Once we have the bolt covers off, we can drop in our hex bolt. Now we're gonna have to hold this hex bolt in place while we flip it upside down. And we're gonna attach the tilting assembly to the desktop upside down like this. Just spin it onto the threads until it's nice and tight. If you reach that final position, it's either too loose or too tight. You can just unscrew the desktop rest, pop that hex bolt out, and just rotate its initial positioning. Now we can take that whole desktop assembly and attach it to the desktop armrest. We're gonna put the star knob in first, and we're gonna take our last short bolt and put that in place here. That short bolt can be fairly tight, but if you do hear a bit of creaking, you can just loosen that off a little bit to reduce the friction. You can see the star knob here allows us to set the desktop to three separate tilting angles, depending on what your preference is. So at this point, we've left both armrests a little bit loose so we can start to make some final positioning adjustments. You'll probably want to take a seat in the chair so you can test out how it's feeling. From here, you should be able to make some minor positioning adjustments until it's nice and comfortable. Here you can see the egg-shaped cam gives the desktop something to rest on, and it can be adjusted based on how you've tilted the desktop. Once you're happy with the positioning, you can put the pad inserts back in, and you can cover up the bolt with that bolt cover. should just push back into place and you're all set to go. You can use it like this with just a laptop, or you can add the laptop riser to get your screen at a better viewing height. Now, if you're attaching this to an Ikea Poang, you'll notice that the arms tilt downwards, and we're gonna try and cancel that out. So we've added an extra pair of clamping bars that can actually be used as a wedge underneath the armrests. This will allow us to level out the armrests. You can see I've started here with the back clamping bars placed in loosely with the medium bolts. And then I place the extra unthreaded clamping bar in between the arm and the arm rest and use the long bolts to clamp everything together. We'll repeat this for the other side. Here you can see me lining everything up and dropping those long bolts through. As before, you can get it roughly in place and just start to tighten things down so they don't move around on you. We'll do our final tightening later once we know we're happy with the positioning. You can attach the desktop as mentioned before, and you can start to make all of your final adjustments before tightening everything down.